A function is said to be differentiable on any interval from A to B if the derivative exists at each point in the interval from A to B, not including A or B. Now, when does the derivative not exist? Well, there are a few cases, four to be exact. The first case is a corner. The derivative does not exist at a corner. Let's call this function f of x. At x equals zero, we have a corner, and therefore the derivative does not exist. The way that we express this is that the derivative from the left-hand side of zero, which here is negative one, is not equal to the derivative from the right-hand side of zero, which here is positive one. So in this case, the limit as x approaches zero from the left-hand side of f of x is not equal to the limit as x approaches zero from the right-hand side of f prime of x. So our derivative itself is not continuous at x equals zero. The next type is called a cusp. A cusp is similar to a corner, however, if you look at the derivative from the left-hand side of this value, let's call this x equals a. If we look from the left-hand side of a, the derivative is approaching a vertical line. It's approaching negative infinity, to be exact. If you look from the right-hand side, the derivative is approaching positive infinity. To view this, right here, our tangent line will look like that. At this point right here, the tangent line looks like that. At this point, it looks like this. And as we get closer and closer towards this cusp point at x equals a, our slope is becoming more and more and more negative. And because it's becoming more negative, it's approaching negative infinity. And the same thing occurs really from the uh, from the right hand side as well. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and approaching positive infinity. Now, if the limit as x approaches a from the positive or negative side of f prime of x is equal to positive or negative infinity, then you have a cusp. And of course, from the left hand side and the right hand side, the differing versions of infinity either positive or negative, have to be different. Because if they're not, you have a vertical tangent line. And of course, at a vertical tangent line, the derivative also doesn't exist. Why? Well, because the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. And what's the slope of a vertical tangent line? You're dividing by zero because your uh, run is zero, and therefore, the slope is undefined. So because the slope of a vertical line is undefined and because uh, the derivative is slope, it therefore follows that a vertical tangent line is not differentiable. The last type of non-differentiability is any type of discontinuity. If your function has a hole, a jump, a vertical asymptote called an essential discontinuity, or an infinite oscillation, another essential discontinuity, then your derivative does not exist. So any type of discontinuity, your function is not differentiable. You cannot take the derivative at a whole, a jump, a vertical asymptote, or an infinite oscillation. Now, this leads to an extremely important idea. And that is that differentiability implies continuity. Because a discontinuity makes a function not differentiable, if a function is differentiable, it therefore can't have a discontinuity. And if a function doesn't have a discontinuity, then it's therefore continuous. 
So differentiability implies continuity. If f is differentiable, then it is therefore continuous. However, continuity does not imply differentiability because there are three cases where a function can be continuous but not differentiable. And they are vertical tangent line. This function is continuous at x equals c. However, it's not differentiable. Another one is cusp. At this point, x equals a, this function is continuous. However, it is not differentiable. And finally, a corner. At this point right here, x equals 0, our function is continuous. We haven't picked up our pencil at all. However, it is not differentiable. So, the point is that differentiability implies continuity. However, continuity does not imply differentiability because there are three cases where a continuous function is not differentiable. Corner, cusp, vertical tangent line.